is dedicated to all the people who know. People like Buckminster Fuller. I can dig rapping. I heard this for the first time last night and I absolutely adore it. Kendrick Lamar, King Kunta. It's bass, it's funk, it's an instant touch it back classic. Something's in the water, something's in the water. And if I got a brown nose for some gold, then I'd rather be a bomb than a motherfucking bomb. Touch it back. Something's in the water, something's in the water. And if I got a brown nose for some gold, then I'd rather be a bomb than a motherfucking bomb. Oh, touch it back. Something's in the water, something's in the water. And if I got a brown nose for some gold, then I'd rather be a bomb than a motherfucking bomb. Oh, yeah. Bitch, where you in? A revolution is born. I'm going to be reading a passage from my Bible. It's not the King James Bible, but it's a Bible. It's called Critical Path and it's by R. Buckminster Fuller. And I'll be reading passages from this book over the coming weeks and months. So the first passage is in the introduction and it goes, we can sense that only God is the perfect, the exact truth. We can come ever nearer to God by progressively eliminating residual errors. The nearest each of us can come to God is by loving the truth. If we don't program the computer truthfully with all the truth and nothing but the truth, we won't get the answers that allow us to make it. So what does this passage have to do with the theme this week of, you know, laughing, laughter, smiling? Apart from it being a great passage, it talks about truth and in my interpretation is when you know the truth it deep in with, you know, deep within your very soul, that makes you joyful that makes you feel good, that makes you smile, it makes you radiate from the inside out. And knowing the truth really does set you free. So, truth is love. That's what I'm knowing. <laughs>